This is what many people across the UK woke up to. Roads blocked, public transport cancelled and schools closed. Fun for some, misery for others. In Croatia, the army were drafted in to rescue people trapped in their houses. But as fast as the snow was cleared, more quickly fell. And in the Italian capital, Romans experienced the first snow in six years, turning the Vatican into a battleground. Cold weather in winter is hardly surprising, but what's unsettling scientists is that Europe is currently colder than the Arctic. A freak warming around the North Pole is sending a blast of Arctic cold across the continent. We have a number of weather warnings in force, yellow and some amber warnings to talk you through this morning because conditions are going to be pretty grim for some parts of the UK, particularly across parts of eastern Scotland through the central belt, down into parts of northeast England. Frequent heavy snow showers really building up through the day today. Elsewhere, well, ice is a potential hazard with temperatures below freezing. Uh, some sunny intervals, but more snow showers across eastern England. And one area where we haven't seen much snow so far, parts of Devon and Cornwall, seeing the snow showers coming in here, parts of South Devon and Cornwall in particular, as we go through the day. More snow showers to come across eastern England. We'll see a few developing in eastern parts of Northern Ireland, a few across the Midlands, but the main focus for snow showers, eastern parts of Scotland, down through Central Belt, into southern Scotland and northeast England. Frequent heavy snow showers to come here. Now we have a yellow warning in force to cover the ones across Northern Ireland, southwest England and eastern England, a further few centimetres likely. Maybe if you get lots of showers, you could see 10 centimetres. But it is showers, so like yesterday, some places will see a lot a few miles away. You may not see much at all. It is somewhat hit and miss. But where we are expecting lots of heavy showers is across the northeast. Widely here, 5 to 10 centimetres of snow. Pretty treacherous conditions. There'll be delays on road and rail and air networks and power disruption is likely the potential for uh, communities to get cut off as well. Even if you don't get the snow today, it is going to feel bitter, colder than yesterday. Temperatures, these are the maximum temperatures, staying below freezing in quite a few places and feeling even colder because of that really bitter easterly wind, which continues to bring snow showers in across the north and the east. Again, very unpleasant conditions here through the evening rush hour. And those snow showers keep on coming through the course of uh, Wednesday night and into Thursday. So just to reiterate, that amber warning in force across from Caithness and Sutherland down to parts of North Yorkshire. Five to ten centimetres widely, maybe as much as 40 centimetres on the hills where it's drifting because of the strength of the wind. So as I said, likely to see major disruption to transport as well as the potential for interruptions to power supplies. Why is it so cold? Well, high pressure dominating across Scandinavia. The winds come around a high pressure like this. We've got these easterly winds. Are we going to see a change? Well, only a subtle change, but it could be quite a significant change. Is this area of low pressure, named Emma by the Portuguese Met Service because it's bringing them some wet and windy weather. As that moves northwards and hits the cold air, well, then across the south on Thursday, we could have some extra issues. We've still got the amber warning in force across the northeast, and then as the wet weather pushes northwards, we'll see snow across parts of southern England, particularly the southwest. Elsewhere, we'll see some sunshine. And again, this is the first day of March and temperatures staying below freezing, well below freezing. And again, feeling even colder because of that wind. Now, as this low pressure moves its way a bit further north, later on on Thursday, the isobars squeeze together. So that means it's going to be windy. As the winds pick up and the snow falls, that could again cause some disruption. So we have an amber warning in force through Thursday into Friday across parts of Wales and southwest England. Not just snow, we could see freezing rain. That is where rain falls through a frozen layer, uh, but stays as rain, hits the floor and then turns into ice instantly. And it makes conditions very treacherous indeed on the roads. And again, with snow and the strong winds, blizzards are expected. So again, that is going to cause some disruption. Now, there's some uncertainty about the extent of this snowy uh, weather. Could move a bit further east. That's why we have a yellow warning in force across the southeast. So that's something we'll be keeping a very close eye on. Please stay up to date with the forecast. Things 
are changing, changing rapidly. So keep up to date, and there's lots of ways that you can do that. Watch the app, keep your eye on the radar itself, but also follow us on social media. We're always updating the warnings on there through Twitter, at MetOffice, on Facebook, of course, Snapchat, and Instagram. But keep up to date with all the weather warnings, keep up to date yourself, and uh, stay tuned and stay safe.